Right, let's pick up John Hunt then in the commentary box. Thanks, Laura. So the action underway for today then at Otoy. And we start with this pre-Ferdinand Rayant. And they head away with 4,400 metres in front of them. The first one to show is Homme de Coeur. Homme de Coeur with the giant Ola La Forez on the wide outside. He touches down in second place with Hevoila alongside him over the first. Just in behind these is Hawax, black jacket with the cheek pieces, and then Haute Lecour on the outside of the field. Henri Danjou is next as they come towards fence number two. Oh, and the back marker nodded there. That was Happy de Rev. Awkward landing for him. No real mistake, but just didn't judge the landing quite right as they come quickly towards the third. Up and over the bank they go. Down the other side, there's a small fence to negotiate, which they've all done fine. And Omnicur leads up still from Ola La Forez. In behind them, Oatlicur on the outside as they cut across the track for the first time. Fourth place for Evoila. Then in touch, Happy de Rev has made ground on the outside of Hawax. Henri Danjou at the back end of the field as well. Taking the next fence. And Haute Cour slightly tentative over that one. Lost a bit of ground, but not much ground behind the two leaders who continue to be Homme de Cour and Ola La Forez. Haute Cour third place again now. Popped over that one okay. On the wide outside, Api de Rave just nudged along. Behind the leaders, Evoila in company with uh, Hawax and in touch, Henri Danjou. Taking the bullfinch now, and away from that, fence number six, they all still stand. And in front is Homme de Coeur. That shot round the bend, just a good indicator of the physical presence of the horse in second place at the moment. Ola La Forez, who's an absolute giant. If his ability matches his frame, he'll be a superstar. Ola La Forez in second place. Haute Le Coeur back in third place followed by happy de rev as they come over the next fence happy de rev is followed by henri d'anjou and then comes our wax and the field have got a little bit more strung out now hey voila is the back marker last of all to the next fence slight mistake there by henri d'anjou back in fifth place chased along immediately there that was a small hurdle as they now move on towards the Next obstacle, the leader still. This is Homme de Coeur with Ola La Forez and Haute Le Coeur just in behind them as they come to the Riviere des Tribunes. Homme de Coeur up and over safely. All have got over that one fine, although Hawax is the one who's almost off the track here on the wide outside. I thought he was taken to the wide outside for a reason, but he was clearly hanging and has lost ground as a result. So Hawax. Drops to the tail end of the field. They remain very well strung out with less than a circuit left to run. Taking that little hurdle now, Homme de Coeur leads with a clear advantage over both Ola La Forez on the outside of Haute Le Coeur. And these three are clear now, racing away from the stands for a final time. Happy de Rev is followed by Hevoila. Henri Danjou seems to be struggling now to stay with them. Hawax at the back of the field as well. So heading down the far side, Homme de Coeur. Homme de Coeur over from Haute Le Coeur and Ola Le Forez. Clear then of the other four runners. Happy de Rev next best as they move on towards the next fence. Oh, and there the two chasers, Ola Le Forez and Haute Le Coeur, both made small mistakes in behind. Homme de Coeur, who comes now to the big ditch, flies it as well Homme de Coeur has got himself now 15 to 20 lengths clear you can see that Henri Danjou's had enough he's pulled up Hawax would be wise to I think meanwhile Homme de Coeur has put himself in a great position a few sensational jumps down the far side look at Homme de Coeur he's clear from Ola La Forez and I think Haute de Coeur is really really tired all of a sudden and has given up the chase Homme de Coeur is in the process of putting up a fabulous performance here. Ola La Forez coming to the next fence now. Oh, look at that. Unseating rider Haute Le Coeur. He looked a tired horse. 
He jumped it, but that horse didn't want to know, and Oatlicur unseats rider after a bad mistake. So Omdekur is clear. He's already rounded the turn for home, uh, Omdekur, as Olala Forez is now 40 or 50 lengths clear. This is a sensational performance by Omdekur. Over the next fence, through the top of it, that was the second last, but he has now come under pressure, but he is 50 lengths clear of Olala Forez, nearly a fence clear as he comes towards the last. Hevoilas into third place, and that is Omdekur over the final fence. He's absolutely destroyed them here, Omdekur. Writing was on the wall some way out. He kicked on on the final circuit. He flew the ditch down the far side. That's always a mark of a good horse. And he's eased down Omdekur, but he will still win by a distance. Terrifically impressive start to the afternoon's jumping here at Otoy by Omdekur, number six. And we might be waiting all afternoon for the others to come home. Eventually, eventually, Ola La Forez and Hevoila finish weary second and third. But that was all about Omdekur, a sensational round.